Hey guys, so today I've got a new tutorial for you, and this is about, or oh, it's going to extend my underwater set of tutorials. Now, somebody asked me a while ago um, to do if they could do like underwater acoustics, and that sort of represents the, the light which shines in the bottom of um, sometimes when you see it in on the sea on the floor. I'll I'll give you an example. Um, if I open up this program that we're going to use, acoustics generator, now if I just um, adjust this actual depth so if I, you just click auto render on on this and then I choose the depth you can see the sort of the effect that it gives and it just sort of the reflection from under the water which you get sometimes on the floor maybe in the bottom of a swimming pool that you'd see um, but that's going to be what I'm going to be showing you today and it's going to be showing you how to make so getting a set of images which will be projected underneath your actual sort of um, you know water plane that you've got in your scene so this can be a way to add a little bit more depth to your scene now this is only going to be a sort of base to what you can do because um, the projectors um, need a bit of playing around to get the settings that you like so you might not get it right first I might not might get not get it right in the video but it's just about playing around with it so first of all what you want to do is you want to go to um, this website on here and it's called uh, acoustics generator so it's dualheights.se forward slash acoustics now what you can do is I'll leave a link to this in the description what you want to do is go all the way to the bottom and you can download um, acoustics generator 3.8 for windows so once you've actually got that generator and you want to install it in um, just on your computer then when you open it up you'll get this you'll have to agree to a, a license it that doesn't matter that's all right because it's free and um, um, what we want to do is we want to actually come, come on this program and each frame we want to change it to 512 so because the free version of this program only gives it um, 512 by 512 pixels that's as big as texture we can get so if you bought the other version you could get it something more and make sure you tick auto render at the top so you can see what you're doing so all we do is click on one um, frame, we click auto render, we move the depth to a certain amount and then what we'll do is we'll, you can actually change your background colour so the actual colour that you'll see you know under the water and then what you can actually do is then click frame 2 just move it a little bit and keep doing that for each frame until you've done 15 and then what you'll notice if I actually just move down you'll see the sort of displacement that you get on the maps so all you need to do is do you know as I say about 15 different ones you can change all your different settings to see what you might you know like on your um, um, maps whether it's intense how much the depth is and all this so all you want to do is do about 15 once you've got to 15 you click render animation and then it'll just save it to wherever you want your Q6 to render to and when you've got that folder you can close that down and you can just import that folder into unity and I've got all my acoustics here so you can see them there so they just vary they just differ I've got 16 because I did that earlier and that's pretty easy to do so once you've actually put in them in, you're going to have to bring in a projector into Unity. So when we go into Unity, we need the standard assets pack. So if we right click, if you don't already have it, press import and choose projectors. Then when you've got your projectors, you can open projectors and you'll get two types of projector prefabs. So then you can import your projector in and you'll notice that, you know, we can just move it around in the scene and have it up and down and things like that we don't really need to change much on it now we actually need to create a script which lets you you know use your actual acoustic generated images what we're going to do is right click say create and we're going to create a C sharp file this time because I actually found this script online um, for helping with this because um, it's easier to do with C sharp so what we're going to do is we're going to create this called animated projector and then we'll open up in mono develop make sure you name it that and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete um, I'm going to delete 
those two here, and I'm just you may need to leave your two uh, curly brackets there. We're going to write public float fps equals 30.0f with a semicolon, then public texture 2d, and then we're going to put two square brackets, and then we're going to write frames with a semicolon. So there we're going to do an actual um, an array. We're going to say private integer frame index with a semicolon. We're also going to say private projector as type projector. And then what we're going to do inside here, we'll say void. Oops. Void start with two brackets and then we'll add two curly brackets under there and I'll say projector with a lowercase equals get component and then we'll put two um, triangular side brackets I'm not sure what they're called off the top of my head and then we'll type projector with a capital and then we'll use two brackets at the end and a semicolon then under there we'll say next frame um, with two brackets and a semicolon, so that's going to be our new function. Then I'll write invoke repeating in brackets. Open your, sem uh, your quotes and say next frame, and then close the speech marks, comma one, then have a slash backslash fps, comma one backslash fps. Close that, add your semicolon, and then We'll go underneath those two curly brackets and write void next frame. Add the um, two brackets, then add your curly brackets, and then write projector in lowercase dot material dot set texture open brackets, then quotations. Then you want to do underscore shadow text and then put the quotes in there, comma, frames, in lowercase, and then what we want to do is add two square brackets, and inside there we'll write frame index, and then we'll put the bracket on the end, and put a semicolon, and then under there we're going to write frame index equals open brackets frame index plus one, close the brackets, then we'll put percent sign and say frames dot length semicolon and then we'll save that out so what this does is just is finds the projector that we're looking for and then this is at the start of the function so it'll find the projector that we're um, looking for then it'll find the next frame straight away so every next frame that it finds it'll set a different texture depending on the index and the index adds one for every FPS that we go through so if we minimize that and what we can do is go to this projector and we can add the script to our projector and then what we can do here is add how many images we've actually got in our acoustic so for yours you'd be 15 or how many you've set and then what we do is we can add each of our images on each of these different um, lines I'll just pause this and speed this up so you don't have to see me do it. and once you've had all the images what you can do is you can press play once and take it off again and your actual light material textures will have changed for your projector and what you can actually do is you can move your projector up and down in the water so what you do is if you have it too high it will project it on top of the water now if you have it underneath the water you'll see a small like square so if I move this about you'll see it move and if you place it in a particular place you will actually get it so if I jump into the water now um, I'll jump into the water here and my fog's on a little bit high in my script. I'll show you how to change that. But you see now when you go underwater, although it's not the greatest effect ever, you can change this by, you know, making your textures different colours and obviously reducing the actual fog that's in the water. But instead of us actually having, you know, no apparent acoustics in the water, we get something that has um that sort of, you know, vague effect. 
Now what we can do is to make this actually follow the player. Now what you can do is you can actually get this um, light projector and get it to follow the player. But the problem is if you do that and you jump in the water, you'll notice that your player actually, I mean your um, coup stick actually just goes under the the floor so what you're going to need to do is you're going to make sure that it's as high as your player to begin with so then when your player jumps in you'll notice the change now you'll you think to yourself well that's going to reflect on the water but we actually need to change the script that we've got in our on our first person controller from from the other tutorial so if you go to the underwater script what we're going to do is we're going to actually do something within this script so in start we're going to say game object and this is a javascript this time dot find open brackets quotes and then we'll say whatever your pa your um, project is made or called and we'll say blob light projector you can rename this of course and then we'll say get component open brackets projector close that bracket dot enabled equals false so at the beginning of the actual game or the actual scene it's false because you don't want to see it project anything and then we want to say when it's normal so when you're normally above the water it's false and then what we actually have to do when we go underwater we'll set it equal to true and then you can also remember that you can change your actual um, fog distances so if I change it to 0.08 and then we jump in the water this time you'll notice there is no projector at the moment until I jump into the water and then you'll notice that this effect actually starts up but the only problem with this it is a little bit um, pernickety a little bit dodgy when you're moving your camera a certain way but it's something you might want to mess around with yourself but I'm just showing you you know what sort of effect you can ch achieve within unity just making a simple you know acoustic on the floor and you can actually see some reflection from the surface maybe if, if your water isn't actually too high so that's pretty much it for doing it what you want to do is you just want to mess around with the settings in the light projector if it's not projected on the place you want just move it about your scene and try and get things to work if it doesn't um, leave me a message and I'll try and work it out but this is just a start for everybody to see how you can, you can add a bit more depth to your underwater scenes and thanks very much and if you like the tutorial as ever don't forget to like, comment and subscribe cheers